Good Monday morning. Well, we just got through our second cold snap of the season. Uh, the first one was uh, right before Christmas, and then we just had uh, temperatures that went to 38 degrees on uh, Saturday morning. Uh, so I checked with somebody I knew in Washington, D.C., and their temperature that time was 36. That's crazy. Uh, it really shouldn't be that small of a difference between Washington, D.C. and South Florida. Um, but those temperatures, um, you know, when it gets 38 degrees, it can damage some things. Uh, now, I graphed a lot, and the last cold snap before this one, uh, the one right before Christmas, uh, a lot of the graphs uh, did not take. And I'm not sure if it was because of the cold snap. It seemed like it was. Uh, so um, what I did this time around was anything that I grafted a few days before the cold snap went into my kitchen. And uh, <laughs> there's still room to get to the refrigerator and the sink, but there were a lot in there. Uh, I'm hoping that that means that they will, once I move them out tomorrow, uh, they will thrive and be successful. Uh, this is what happened to some of the plants that were out here during the cold. Uh, this the whole grouping had young leaves about the same stage. Uh, they are droopy but I'm not concerned. They got a little dehydrated because of the dry, cold air. And I think that once uh, you know they get a couple days to recover, that they will look just fine. Uh, one thing that was weird, though, is very young leaves. Look at how droopy those are. So I'm not sure if that's going to make it. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, so anyway, the bottom line is uh, it looks pretty good um, you know, as far as the plants are concerned. I'm hoping that, you know, like all the, of course, all the grafts are successful. And hopefully wherever you are, you did not get much damage from that cold snap.